when you're a pro, you know you're a pro. You look like a pro, you act like a pro, you believe it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a pro. 2020 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro in midnight black. I'm gonna start off by showing you what makes this vehicle unique from any other trim level in the Tacoma fleet. So this is the unique TRD Pro content. So you can look for this as I'm going through the features and doing a walk around. It's got retuned Fox shocks. I'll show you those. Look for the Toyota grill. Look for those LED fog lights. You'll also see some very interesting LED headlights and daytime running lights. Look for the skid plates. Look for the wheels. Look for the shift knob and floor mats. I'll give you one right now. Shift knob, give you another one. Floor mats. The first thing I really wanna do is give you a walk around to the Tacoma and just give my thoughts. Number one, Tacoma is beast-like. It's got that traditional profile that you're used to seeing for decades, frankly. But this is the toughest, roughest, mid-sized truck on the planet. It's got the best resale value of any car, truck, or SUV in the country. It goes for hundreds and hundreds of thousands of miles. My buddy Mike, who also bought a Tacoma from me, has over 1.3 million miles on his truck. You can see his video in my library. Just type in Tacoma with 1.2 million miles and you'll see all about Mike and his special, special access cab truck. How does that look? Yeah! There are a few features that jump off the page that scream at you. This is a Tacoma TRD Pro. First of all, nostalgia right in the face with the genuine Toyota signature front grille here. It's also got a camera that'll show you what's in front of the vehicle. You'll be able to see along the sides of the vehicle with other cameras and then the backup camera. So you can see all around the vehicle in this TRD Pro. Of course, it's got the LED headlights, daytime running lights, and the Rigid Industries signature fog lights, LED, of course. They allow you to see farther, wider, taller, through the trees, along the sides of country roads, things like that. Plus they don't cost as much because they last longer, so lower cost of ownership. Toyota Safety Sense, you'll notice this radar visor right here. And then also there's a camera right in the windshield. That's for pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, lane departure alert, radar cruise control, and then also automatic high beams. Let's go under the hood here. Look at this, TRD. Pro. I got distracted, I digress. The TRD Pro signature skid plate to protect everything valuable to you. The ground clearance on this vehicle on all Tacomas is 9.4 inches. It's got a high clearance so that you can cross any tough obstacle in your path like a stump or a stone okay these are the retune 2.5 inch fox shocks with remote reserves it allows your vehicle to absorb as much impact as possible when you're on uneven terrain and things like that so that you can go on those remote passes the rocky trails through small streams, things like that. Let's show the suspension. I do want to point it out from different angles so that you can see all the guts going on in here. I hit that. And <laughs> here's the top view. Now let's go under the rear section. There's a spare tire, baby. So this is kind of the best of everything here because on highway speeds or city streets, it's pretty smooth riding. You still know you're in a truck, of course, it's a truck-like ride, but it absorbs a lot of impact so you don't feel as much bumps and jolts to the system when you're going on that uneven path. This is the TRD signature exhaust as well. Woo! 
Another cool feature that's been upgraded for 2020, these LED sequential turn signals. You can see it right here and then also in the side as well. This is also a great time to tell you about the blind spot monitor. I'm gonna turn that on so you can see right here, it lights up an amber orange color, there I am, so that if somebody's coming up from your blind spot from behind, you'll see them and it'll also flash at you if you go to turn with your turn signal on and somebody's already there. So that way it says, hey, yo, you're gonna cut somebody off. You may hit them. Blind spot monitor, boom. Hit me with your blind spot, fire away. She blinded me with blind spot. Now let's look at the profile here. You can see, of course, the TRD Pro signature badging. This has a smart key, auto open, push button start. So when you walk up to it with your key in your pants pocket here, it's gonna go beep, beep, automatically unlocks. And just to carry it forward, I can start my car with the key in the pocket. I can turn it off. And then listen for the one beep, I can lock it just by pushing the two parallel lines here. Locked. Now it's got 16 inch TRD Pro signature black with red badging, we'll call it alloy wheels here. This is Goodyear Wrangler tires on this particular one. These Predator Pro step bars, they were added regionally after the fact, so it helps you to, well, step up. The fuel tank, this averages 20 miles per gallon on the TRD Pro automatic, and it's 18 in the city, 22 in the highway. The fuel tank size is 21.1 gallons. The one thing that I might say would be room for improvement, it has disc brakes in the front and drum brakes in the rear. It might be nice to have disc brakes all across the board. Probably next gen will be seeing that. What do you think? All TRD Pro models come with an integrated tow hitch with the connectors four and seven pin right here. Allow me to introduce myself. So this has a tow capacity of 6,400 pounds. It has an integrated backup camera here. I like the fact that the back gate doesn't go boom. It's much safer this way. It's a composite bed liner, so it's safe to load and store things that might have um, sharp edges or just heaviness or bulk to them. It's not gonna scratch up the paint that you might see here. Now it's got a deck rail system along the two sides so that you can put your bed cleats in and lock them down and that way you can strap things in or tie them with some heavy twine or bungees, that kind of stuff so they don't fly out, roll around, that kind of stuff. Other pieces of interest I think you might like it's got tie downs that are sort of hidden in here so you don't really see them that much. They're in all four corners. You can see the metallic ones there. But that way you can also strap or bungee things down. It's got a grounded outlet here. You push a button in the front and it sends power out here. And then this is a pocket that you can put anything you can imagine. I would put some rope or bungees there, maybe some canisters, that kind of stuff. The 19 model had it right here also. Don't know what happened, guys. You can see the sliding rear window as well. I just ran into my tripod. So what powers this thing anyway? This is a very efficient 3.5 liter engine. It delivers 278 horsepower 265 foot-pounds of torque in this V6. This is available in six-speed automatic or six-speed manual. Of course, this is the automatic version. If you get the manual, you can get active traction control. This has electronically controlled locking rear differential, which locks the rear wheels on the same axle so they both turn at the same speed, the same revolutions to do the same amount of work. Because this is an automatic, it comes with two other resources that'll really help you in sticky situations, not everyday use, multi-terrain select and crawl control. I'll show you those next. Yeah, I'm gonna show you those next. The crawl control and multi-terrain select knob is right up here. This is multi-terrain select, MTS, and then this says crawl, so it's crawl control. And then these are designed for different types of terrain that you're going on to give you the ultimate amount of traction possible. So 
For example, multi-terrain select, you can do mud and sand, rock and dirt, moguls, big rocks. You'll get more wheel slippage on the lower models like um, mud and sand, rock and dirt. The less amount of slippage is gonna be on the bigger rocks because you need as much grip as possible to get up over those rocks. And this is how it helps you. It'll be fun to see you try it out and then let me know how it goes. Crawl control is a low speed cruise control. It's designed to allow you to go forward and backward, let the car do it at low, low speeds, and you can set the speed settings from very low to a little bit faster. And that way you can focus on your steering. It's really good for if you're on the beach and sand that's gonna be really loose, that kind of stuff, or where you just have no traction at all. We've seen videos of Tacomas in the desert getting out of a really, really tough situation where it's almost buried because of crawl control. And then this is safety connect right here. This is the locking rear differential. These are your interior lights, pink. And then this is for your moonroof. Oh, by the way, it's got a moonroof. Holla. Here's what the interior looks like of Tacoma. It's been modernized now because with the 2020, they've added a larger screen and then the capabilities to give you Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Amazon Alexa, so many different tools here. One of the things that is sort of a signature piece of TRD Pro, it's gonna be the black leather seating with an embossed texture to it. Like that. You can also see red accents throughout. I'll be pointing those out as we go along. Another area for improvement might be rear legroom space. This is with the seat all the way back. This is with the seat a little bit more forward. But I could see that being room for improvement. Here's another view of the TRD Pro seating. Comes with a 10-way, that's right, 10-way power driver seat. It has front driver and passenger one-touch windows. It's got a 360-view camera. This is where you release the hood. That's the tire pressure set button. Lumbar support. Leather wrap steering wheel and a very useful 4.2 inch multi-information display so it can show you different pieces of information about your truck, yo. Pre-collision system, lane departure alert, digital speed, how far till you run out of gasoline. Pay no attention to the fuel mileage. I've been sitting here burning fuel. Compass, radio, lane departure alert and also radar cruise control and back again tag team back again this is where the cruise control is it's underneath i just jostled that underneath and behind the steering wheel this is also a great time to show you some of these controls because it's part-time four-wheel drive push button start i like that blind spot monitor just like that electronically controlled transmission that gives you an extra boost of power like pulling a boat out of a boat launch. This is your parking sonar. This is your rear sliding window, USB, and our wireless charging along with a 12 volt circular port. So just put your new phone right there. Great place to put either a drink, bottle holder, and then your phone. Just kind of put it this way, facing that way. Inside the console two, I repeat, two different USB ports. So I see three, which is great. And then we've got dual temperature controls, which is nice. Here's your hazard lights. Blink, 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 blink. It's got heated seats with three different settings. I like it. And then the eight inch touchscreen here, this is sort of the signature piece. A lot of us know this is new. It's got dynamic navigation, so up to it is updated in real time, similar to what a Waze would be, that kind of stuff. No more map cards, so you won't see anything along the sides that says map, that kind of stuff. It's got JBL speakers in it, so it's premium sound system, baby. Also has Sirius XM. Nice. Next, I want to show you the bird's eye view camera, so I'm going to push this. 
And then remember, there's camera in front along the side so you can see what's beside you. Actually, I can tell my tripod is right there and there it is also. I can see in front of my vehicle. And let's push it again. Now I can see along the sides of my vehicle and you can see the tripod is right there. So it can tell you if there's a car, how co uh, close you're cutting it to turning into another car. We've all been in that situation. Just like that. And then I'm gonna show you the backup camera now as well. So the, here's your backup camera. So it shows you different views of the car. Pretty handy stuff though. Now let's take a look at the full window sticker so you can see everything about it. Here's the fuel mileage that I talked about, average is 20. Does not have any extra features added to it at the factory. So much technology added to it. This starts at 46.6. Toyota adds in delivery to the dealerships. And then this one has Predator step bars on it. You can add running boards, whatever you want to, paint protection, and dual USB ports in the rear. And then this one will be 48.8. Eight. So what features do you like on this bad boy here? What do you think you would use? Which ones add value? Safety, convenience, technology. I love the tech. So write down in the comment section what you think. You can follow my column at torquenews.com slash Toyota. I'm on Instagram at Toyota Jeff one. I'm on Facebook at Toyota Jeff. Please subscribe to Toyota Jeff YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. I try real hard to be the ultimate resource for you to give you a full 600 video catalog and library that you can scroll through to learn more about the world of Toyota. Everything. See you next time. Enjoy your weekends, everyone. <laughs>